In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Great Dane and why they may be cropped or docked. Welcome back to the Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenriaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Great Danes. So if you're a lifelong Great Dane lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the Great Dane and why they may be cropped and docked. Ear cropping is a medical procedure that removes some of the ear flap to create ears that permanently stand upright or some people go so far as to remove all of the ear, leaving only the inner mechanisms intact. Ear cropping is illegal here in England and Wales and has been since 2006, according to the Section 5 Animal Welfare Act. This is an aesthetic procedure. There are no known health benefits to doing this. This is done to achieve a certain intimidating look, which explains why the bigger breeds like pit bull types, bully breeds and guarding breeds are commonly targeted. But there are reports that it makes a more sensitive ear canal much more susceptible to infection. It can also affect a dog's hearing abilities, their ability to convey emotion and make a dog's body language difficult to read. Unfortunately, in the past five years, there has been a rise of 236% in reports of dogs in the UK having cropped ears. A lot of people don't realise it's illegal and it's often a very painful procedure for the dogs to endure. The healing alone can be traumatic enough. Having this unnecessary procedure done can also cause distrust and other behavioural concerns, which is seen in a lot of seized dogs that have had their ears cropped. This procedure is still prolific and is still done in Europe and in other countries like America. For example, if you were to buy a dog such as a Connie Corso with cropped ears, chances are it has been imported from another country or bred by an unreputable breeder. If you're looking for a breed like a Corso, a Doberman, or even a Great Dane, and the pups are advertised as having cropped ears, it is advisable to walk away from that particular breeder. Tail docking, on the other hand, is still a very common practice in the UK, but for specific reasons and specific breeds. This procedure is still medical in nature and should only be performed by a veterinary surgeon, but it's seen a lot with working dogs. Working dogs like Spaniels, Pointers and Vizslas, for example, for a full list just Google Hunt, Point and Retrieve breeds. They are permitted to have dock tails if they are to be worked with in a certain environment where a long tail is more likely to be damaged or cause unnecessary pain. It's not something a pet dog should go through but there are some medical reasons as to why a dog's tail may be docked. Happy tail, where a dog incessantly wags their tail against hard surfaces, constantly breaking the skin or bruising the tail. It may be agreed that docking is the best way to minimise suffering, but this isn't decided lightly due to the muscles and the extension of the spine that resides in the tail. But if you're looking for a working dog or one of the breeds mentioned, ask questions about the process the breeder has taken with tail docking, but ultimately don't be put off if they have pups advertised as being docked. So the Great Dane isn't commonly tail docked in the UK, they aren't a breed legally allowed to be docked. The only time a Great Dane will have a shortened tail is for a medical reason. These are large dogs that have powerful tails and so they can be prime sufferers for happy tail. So sometimes partial amputation is the best course of action to stop them hurting themselves. Now, Great Danes are one of the breeds that has been subjected to partial ear cropping, where the remaining ear is taped upright whilst it heals so they're permanently stood alert. This is to achieve the intimidating look that I previously mentioned. Great Danes are regal looking dogs anyway, but some have taken it one step too far. While they were historically used as a protective presence for stately homes, modern Great Danes are known as gentle giants, and what's the purpose of trying to make a gentle giant look aesthetic? Nothing can make that acceptable. So I'll remind you, if you're looking for a Great Dane and they're advertised as cropped, please walk away. The smaller the market becomes for this breed to look intimidating, the quicker the act of ear cropping will die out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Great Dane channel.